everybody, it's Tom from Show Me Coasters, and today I'm here at Six Flags for opening day for 2024. I'm really excited to be here. The park is absolutely packed. I have never, I don't remember the last time I saw it this packed. It was, this is crazy. So, uh, T's going to be meeting me out here later. I'm meeting up with a few other friends. So let's go and enjoy the park. Let's go, guys. So the gang's all here, and we're all going to head up the hill to the boss here. And take a ride on it. I'm afraid I'm gonna get beat up on it though. Yeah, but we'll let you know how it is when we get back. Tom, Travis, Amber, and Drew are getting ready to ride the boss the first time today here at Six Flags St. Louis. So the gang just got off of the boss here at Six Flags St. Louis. How so raw compared to the other years here? It's it's Woo! very aggressive. Not rough? Yeah, a lot rough. It's rough? Okay. It, it was okay. It was okay. It, it, kind, of, it, it kind of pinned, to, pinned me down a little bit. Toward the end. Yeah, yeah. Toward the end. Jam. Hopefully during the season, once the weather warm up, it will get better. Yeah. yeah. It was, it, yeah, so we just got off of the boss. I thought it was a lot better than it rode last year. Um, I didn't get as what beat up. Was not bad. What it yeah. Was it, once we got up to the double up over at the end of the run, it was uh, it, that double up was very painful actually, but it was still a better ride than it has been in the last few years. new for 2024 right here at Six Flags St. Louis, the Mighty Buccaneer.
updates and are the updates and everything. Six Flags St. Louis have been posting them on their Facebook page on Facebook.com, so you can always check them out there. So Travis and Amber are going to take their ride on Supergirl Skyflyer here at Six Flags St. Louis. We'll see them when they get back. So here's something that you all have probably been anticipating for us to come over and take a look at. But uh, this is the area where they're going to be putting Joker's uh, Carnival of Chaos at. I know it doesn't look like they've really done a lot, but you know they did remove the old booth where the uh, Dragon Wing booth was. And they've also, oh, they've cleared a few more trees. Um, and they've been running some electrical. So the log flume will be opening later in April. But they did do a lot of off-season work here. They put a whole new deck up there on the exit side. Yeah, it's pristine yellow. It's a lot, That's bright yellow pine. Looks really great. They've done a lot of great uh, updates here at the park over the off-season. It seems slow um, or no progress. It seems like they haven't been able to get anything done, but they have really made a lot of great progress here on the carousel, the Grand Old Carousel here at Six Flags St. Louis. PTC number 35 from 1915. And this looks absolutely gorgeous. The colors are so beautiful on this. It's going to be amazing once they get it all done later this year. They're really pushing to have it open again this year, but they're doing an extensive restoration on this project, so they didn't just want to rush it. just got off Supergirl. I'm glad they got the light fix. It's a real pretty at night. So Travis and uh, Brian in Virginia decided to take off for the day here. Tom and Amber wants to like, get pandemonium in. Mm -hmm. So Tom and Amber get ready to ride uh, pandemonium here. I don't know guys, this is a sleeper hit for me. It, if you don't want those, you know, jarring and yeah, this is turning nice. upside down, love it's it. a it's a fun family coaster. Yeah, I always love these spinning coasters. See and Amber are taking their ride on Pandemonium. See you when we get back.
we just got off pandemonium. What'd you think, guys? Oh, I love, love these, it. I love these curse flowers being close to. Having, I'm glad now we have three. This has always been one of my favorite family coaster. Yeah. Next to the mine train, now we have Rookie Racer. It's in between the two, which one I like more. But it's a sleeper hit, you know, if you don't want. And it's a some, smooth ride. Something intense like Mr. Freeze. Right, or, yeah. Or Batman. <laughs> but so. yeah, I, I love it. So we're probably going to mosey up towards the Illinois section. We haven't been up there today yet, so maybe go up there and get a ride on Skyscreamer. Brave enough to do Kettleman's Whip? <laughs> no, that's a no. Oh, I haven't done that since uh, its opening year, 2022. Yeah. It's nice to see Port Frontier open again. All the kids running and playing and having a good time on it. Changes here at Six Flags St. Louis is the area where they used to have the remote control boats and cars. They've taken that out, made that the new seating area. Really opened up this area over here in front of Colonel Cobbs and next to the train station. So that's a, a great change to see here. Of course, it wouldn't be a visit to Six Flags without T getting his ride on. Uh, Skyscreamer here at Six Flags St. Louis. It's T's favorite flat ride here, really. Uh, he loves the views from up at the top. I think Amber really does too. Don't forget your seatbelt. So T and Amber are on Skyscreamer. That went really fast. I'm really surprised. Practically a walk on. There's T and Amber. We all enjoy this ride. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice it. For, especially, you know, not, the weather's perfect. Today. The weather is perfect today for it, that's for sure. Oh, it was nice today. Yeah, it's not too hot. So, Amber and I was to uh, the mine train for the park <laughs> Yeah, maybe they'll let us on. <laughs> So T and Amber are going to take a ride on the mine Last train. Last ride of the day. Last ride of the day. So we'll, we'll catch them on the other side. Mine trains. So how was the ride, guys? I awesome! Like, I love this ride. It's my first coast, I think, a lot of us. Is our yeah, first I think it was my first coast. Yeah, the original coast where the park opened in 1971, but it's still held well together. You yeah, know? it's still under good conditions. How old would that be, 43? No, 53. 53. <laughs> yeah, 53. Ah, it's still we got to go twice. 
it's yeah. the, it's safe got, on the You got the very last ride of the night. Yep. That's yeah. for sure. So. All right, we're going to head back towards the front and say goodbye to you good folks. We'll see you on the front. Thank you. Man, oh man, it just still looks so different over here with all the tables gone. Oh, they moved them all over here. Yeah. Just like opened this area up so much. And this over here, they took out that old gaming state area. Moosefinger Lodge, I don't know if this opened today or not. We weren't down here. I'd like to see some of this come back over in this section here, yeah, this the old time photos. They So another area that they totally redid all of the buildings up here in the uh, main street area here all got new paint it looks absolutely great this looks so good out here today everything looks so fresh the fleet's mark got all paint new paint are those real flowers or paint yeah i don't know Okay, folks, that's going to do it for opening day at Six Flags St. Louis uh, 2024. I apologize that uh, the <laughs> opening at daytime, I had to work. I didn't get here until almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it's a Friday, so. But it was a great day. The weather was absolutely perfect. It was perfect. beautiful. Yeah, I so. uh, can't ask for perfect weather, you know. It's like normally it's cold when you're opening days here. And the park was just absolutely packed all day long. It's just unreal how busy it was. Yeah. And they, they really did some amazing, uh, you know, off-season uh, improvement. The oh, yeah, the, the the stuff place. they did off-season has been absolutely fantastic. All the new paint and new concrete and things everywhere. So, new pavement. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this week. This is T. This is Tom. I'm Amber. Have a great night. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah.